So I'm reading this book called The Shapeless Unease, which is about insomnia. And I must say, it's arresting and written in such a way that I could not fall asleep last night. What? And I actually... Is that think, what it's supposed to do? Okay. <laughs> it's it, it's such a, like, it's a beautifully... I mean, I don't even want to say beautiful. It's a it's a really well-written book that it, like, got under my skin, which if that's what you're looking for, go sh- seek out this book. But is it, I'm, is it a, it's like a fiction story? It's a fiction story. Okay. But very... I think a lot of the books I've been researching are, like, very rooted in science, and the way that she is able to speak about science I find fascinating, but it's a fiction author. I think there's a lot to learn. I'm, I'm really getting into fiction right now, and I'm learning sometimes more about science than I am from nonfiction. Do you know what I mean? I think non- that's a really great life lesson to learn not that you necessarily i'm not saying like you can't learn obviously so much science from non-fiction books but i think you can learn a different way when you're reading especially science fiction well it goes back to what we talk about in our interview today a lot of the time with people who are interested in science and economics but also art and people who have diverse ways of looking at the world it is really helpful sometimes i find non-fiction science books to be really hard to digest the information Mm. whereas when you have someone who is like an artist and a scientist you can sometimes like merge those things together to create something that's actually more impactful, which I would say is what this book is doing to the point that I couldn't fall asleep. And um, it really uh, made me think I need to finish this book in one day, have a couple (laughs) nights of rest of sleep and then be done with it. But she was talking about death. um, And after you die, almost speaking of digestion, almost straight away, your body starts Auto auto lysis, autolysis. I don't know how it's pronounced. Probably lysis means like all your cells dying and stuff and exploding. Is that what you mean? Yeah. So the bacteria that are in your gut, which are already there, which are in your gut the whole time you're alive, start to eat your cells. They spread to your stomach, your chest, your thighs, and essentially it's like these bacteria that are living within you. You have spent your whole life and with your living cells containing them and helping you stay alive. You're working in symbiosis with them, but then it's like the second you die, they're the first things to actually start this sort of famous thing that's gonna happen to all of us, which is the digestion of our bodies and like going back into the earth. And it's the actual bacteria that are in you right now that are the first things that start to eat you. Mm. And I just thought like, I don't know, I just, it was, it was just made me think. It was like, I can't, I know we've made a video about that, but it like re-brought this like, sort of thought process around your gut microbiome into like a new light kind of disturbing I guess but yeah. to me I found it very um interesting and I just I don't know it's maybe an example of the vibe that this book gives off but it she- reminds me of how people say if you were to die in your home alone with your dog your dog would eat you okay like, no if it was to starve to death you know what I mean it obviously is not just going to eat you but someone once told me that like that happens in real life because obviously if an animal starving but I was like that's I, really disturbing. Okay, yeah. and then maybe it's because your microbiome is like not getting the other stuff it needs and it's like desperate I don't know. Oh my I'm, god, you I'm went so more. You went so more, but there. And I will also say that dog cat eat your face thing. I've. I don't know. That seems Whether like true. Yeah, that seems very internet. Very like. I mean. Okay, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Okay? No, no, no. I'm just like I don't want to even say that because it's like the, it's like I was like my, what I'm saying is disturbing, and then we just pushed it in the name. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 